Wow. Annyit, ennyit nem sem volt, majd felöltözzek, hogy ilyen, um, you know, t-shirt go-go you get today. Well, I love t-shirt go-go, I love proper go-go, I love go-go in any shape and form. So I am incredibly happy to welcome you to this um, coffee and real estate blog. And um, I'm excited that you are one of my first guests who are who agreed to this craziness. So thank you for being here. <laughs> I love being here. Thank you so much for inviting me. Absolutely. So coffee and real estate is really designed, as you know, for a coffee native realtor and anybody who loves coffee and real estate. I mean, the two best topics in the world, right? <laughs> so um, I have very, very simple questions for you. I know that there's a lot of reasons why you joined DXP. I simply want to want to know the number one reason. Like what was the one that really tilted it over and said, OK, that's the reason? Well, that's kind of funny you asked me that because it's some I did a podcast earlier in the morning and that's what they asked me what was that one yeah. and I don't think there was one reason because three was really important to me but if I had to pick one so sad then it would be the multiple revenues to be okay can you tell me a little bit about what you do you know a lot of people throw the word around passive income multiple lines of income what is that for you what does that mean for you so for me, it was three different reasons. First, I was making really good money when I joined DXP. I was already making very good money doing um, transactions. So it wasn't the commission portion of it, but tied to the commission with EXP, we have a program that's called the ICON program. And that mm -hmm. was very important to me because that's the only brokerage really that I know of that you have a chance to earn your cap back. Like mm -hmm. I've always been a top producing agent. I never had a chance to earn my cap back. So that when I heard of that, I was like, there has to be a catch. What's the what's the catch? <laughs> yeah. And, and there is no catch. And and so that was reason number one is the ability to earning my cat back. Reason mm -hmm. number two for me was revenue share. And mm -hmm. reason number three was stocks. So these are all tied to money. One had to, you know, make me more money by earning my cat back, which with other brokerages I never, you know, whatever I it cost me to be in business is what it costed me to be in business. Yeah. You know, no matter how many transactions I did, I was not, I did not have the ability to earn that back. Mm -hmm. so that's number one. Number two, I never had a retirement plan. So mm -hmm. that's been in the industry for eight and a half years prior to switching to EXP, I never had like stock account, like something to retire on. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, that was very important to me to finally have, you know, 10 years, 11 years in the, in the industry to finally have something to show for when I retire and be like, oh, there's a cute little down payments in a condo in florida you know I'm like something have, have some sort of a retirement plan that was one thing and then revenue share being in third or second or third place it really doesn't matter in the order of things for me i wanted to be off of the real estate roller coaster of like oh five transactions this month nothing next month fifty thousand this month two thousand next month da -da 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 -da. Like it was just such a roller coaster, and I was so sick and tired of it. Like, yes, in the end of the year, I made very good money, but during the year, there were times where my bills are coming in yeah. at the same time, but I don't really have income coming in, reliable income coming in every single month. So, if there was a way, then I could so said have almost like a salary. Revenue share is not a salary by any means, it's not guaranteed, but it is around the same day of every month if you decide to help grow the company and grow a downline or organization. So to me, the way I looked at it, then if I build it now, which I have all the intentions of being in the industry for a very long time, I would have been have the same intentions if I stayed with my previous brokerage. The question was, if I'm in it for a very long time, and if I'm already doing this, and I'm already doing this, and I'm already doing this, but I'm only getting paid commissions, now I can bring my business over here, do the same exact things, but get paid in two, three, four, five, ten different ways, then why not do that? So revenue share is, is when you have the company grow and you bring agents to the company that are solid, they're producing agents, and they come and they bring their businesses over and they bring the revenue over okay. to the or their business over to the company, then we generate revenue, I should say. Mm -hmm. Then the company shares that revenue. And that's mm -hmm. got pretty much deposited into our bank accounts right between the 18th and the 22nd of every month. So to me, that was like almost like a salary, always something that I could rely on. Guaranteed that you can rely yeah. on yeah. as long as you're putting the work. You know, it's funny. Every agent that I talk to, or at least most of them, they don't think about those aspects of what you just explained. They think, OK, how do I grow my team? How do I add more people onto my team and how do I get more leads? Yeah. But who opened your eyes to this? Or was it just someone told me about EXP and it clicked? Or was it did it take you a long time to like 
get this mindset, you know, when you're thinking about, okay, multiple streams, thinking about stocks and all of that, because that doesn't come over time. It's not a normal, right? Yeah, no, I mean, I was in the industry for seven and a half years before, before Keller Williams came to me. And, you know, all the, every time I close with the Remax or Century 21 or all of these other brokers, they all try to recruit me. And I had such a good cap at Real Estate One that they really had no chance of getting me join them. Right. Now, you know, Keller had what they call profit share. And if it wasn't for profit share and then my team leader explaining it to me that there is another way how you can make money in real estate besides just chasing that next commission. Mm -hmm. Not until then I had my little antennas of like, hold on a minute, what is, what is profit share? Like I've never heard of it. And then that is what helped me understand because when you know something, it's almost like you flipped a page in the book. You read that page and you were like, holy shit, excuse my French, I didn't know that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And now you know that. Now that opens up a whole other book of the page of the book of like, oh, so if I can do this and I can do that, and if I can do that, then I can do that. So it was kind of an evolution of like, oh, okay, so now I know about profit share, but what is revenue share? Mm -hmm. so exactly. I always mix the two up. I thought they were exactly the same until you explained it. <laughs> no, profit share means that you get to share the profit, which if you're a business owner, you know how that goes. We're going to yeah. hire a new manager. We're going to order a new printer. We're going to, you know, have supplies and somebody's going to get a raise and we're going to replace the carpet. And you know what I mean? And suddenly there is a little profit. And out of that little profit, you're going to share. Now, revenue is totally different. Revenue is as the money is coming in without taking any of the expenses in consideration, you get a certain percentage of that revenue. So that's money right off the top without taking any of the expenses in consideration. So that's revenue versus profit. I don't know any company who does that. And so that's very, very pretty phenomenal. You just have to grow the company. But if you do, I mean, I love what I get to do and I love changing lives and I love to share the good, bad and the ugly with every single agent. That's how I built my business. So mm -hmm. when I learned the idea of EXP and when I decided to bring my business over, I was so freaking excited. I couldn't shut up about it. EXP changed our lives. It's really that simple. And it is my duty now to change others, like, you know, pay it forward, pay it back for others to, they can change their lives too. So when I'm talking about, you know, the idea of EXP to agents, I'm truly coming from the aspect of how that their life would get changed too. Now, does my life get changed through the process of helping grow the company? Absolutely. That's what revenue share is. But we do not have to grow the company. That's the part out there on the street where some you know, agents may say that's all we do is, is agent attraction. No, we don't. Less than 10% of the agents at EXP brought anyone to the company. We don't I have agree. I It doesn't work for everyone. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't work for everyone. Like, yeah. I feel yeah. like you're great at it, but because, because you're so passionate about how it changed your life. So, okay. Yeah. Number one was you can earn your cat bike. That's pretty good. Um, I want to ask you one social media related question. I know everybody's trying to pick your brains. You're probably sick of it, but market is changing very much. I saw your story yesterday, the tip that yeah. you're giving. What would be one tip, one tip that someone can take it, whether she's or he's on our team or not, they can start implementing and it, they're going to see growth from that tip, social media tip. So this is for leads? For lead generation. Yeah, for lead generation. Yeah. I, I think everybody, I mean, yes, it's nice to get buyers. I think people are dying to get listings. What would you do? And I know I'm throwing you in there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the one fresh on my mind is what happens when the leads come in. Because right now, there's so many leads that are going around. If you do your KV core right, if you're using your systems and your CRM programs, you'll have more leads than you know what to do with it. Now, the question is, we are also out there running around like chickens head cut off to trying to save the day and get this lead for our clients to be the sure first one who show it so they can get in because everybody else, you know, what do they have 50 offers on it, yada, yada. So now I feel like it's a little different where in the past, you may have had five minutes to get back to a client, but now we don't have that time. Now we have to be the first one who responds to them. But in the same time, we are so busy that we are chasing our own tail. We don't necessarily have the time. We're like, oh, a lead came in. Let me jump on it. So like yesterday, what I did is we automated, which ours was automated already, mm -hmm. but we added an additional step to it. So instead of our buyer's agents or listing agents on the team 
handling the leads as they're coming in, which their job is to answer every single lead within five minutes of the leads coming in. Mm -hmm. So what they do is they grab their phone, they say, hey, Adam, I saw that you looked at one, two, three, Main Street, blah, 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 blah. They take it from there, they shoot a video. Well, now when the agents are out there hustling, showing 10, 12 homes a day, it's almost impossible to get back within five minutes to every single lead. So what we are doing, we added an additional step where my video goes out for them. We've set it up automatic, where I introduce myself, hey, this is Gogo Vatki, the, um, you know, the owner of Gogo's Real Estate team. Let me tell you a little bit about us. And then I introduce them to our team members and say, someone from the team will be calling you shortly. I'm so sorry, market's so hot that they are doing their best to get back to you as soon as possible. And that's it. So I introduce myself very quick, introduce what the team brings to the team, how long we've been in the industry, being five star um, yeah. you know, reviews and feedbacks and all that. And then tell them that someone from the team is going to be calling them as soon as they are done with their clients currently. So we just added that additional step. So they are not, or they are not like, well, why am I not getting you know, why is somebody not calling me back like right now? Because we do live in the era of the instant gratification. So right. I think that's huge. Yesterday, um, I did it very quick when a lead came in. Instead of calling him, this mm -hmm. is another tip. Instead of calling someone right away, because do you answer calls that it's a phone number you don't have saved? Not typically. <laughs> so instead of doing that, what we do now is that this is another tip that you can implement very quick. Instead of calling the lead right away, send them a video message. And I and I and I usually say like, hey, I just wanted you to have a face with the name. This is Gogo. You just applied for blah blah blah, whatever they apply for on your site. Mm -hmm. And say, I know it's stranger da stranger danger. And if you are anything like me, I wouldn't be answering a call either from a number I don't know. But I just wanted to let you know that I will be calling you in two minutes with a number ending zero two eight nine. That is so smart because next time you do call, if you're afraid of making calls or whatever, you can say, hey, I already sent you a video. Did you get it? And it's kind of an icebreaker. That's very yeah, smart. They answer every time because they're like, oh, well, that was very yeah. quick. Number one, that was very clever. Number one, because right. you're not afraid of. And number three, you yeah. always have to call them by name. So when you are talking about, you know, when the lead comes in and the, the guy's name is Adam, you don't say, hey, this is good. But you say, hey, Adam. This is go-go. Yeah. Then continue, continue on with the conversation. So those three things is like being in prom, sending a personalized video, calling them by name and letting them know that you'll be calling from whichever number 90% of the time they answer your call. Excellent. Well, I think a lot of people will be trying that one out. Wait, your MLS has active listings because I swear in California, in the desert, they come on the market as pending. <laughs> <laughs> it is madness. So the one thing we have, it's called coming soon. So that's awesome because we'll know what's coming on the market two days prior to going active. Um, so those are pretty much what we are feeding off of right now. So can you share a coming soon listing? Yeah, so we can share two days prior to being actively on the market. Awesome, because that doesn't populate onto KV Core, I think. It's only on your MLS. Right, it, it comes in on a coming soon oh, yeah. oh, very cool. Well, yeah, that's the really state could be different, so I'm not sure. Right. You know, so check yours. Some state might not allow you to have coming soon, so I'm not sure. Speaking of different states, are you back in Michigan? Are you in Florida? Where are you right now? We are back in Michigan. Back in Michigan. Oh. Little happy as on not planned, um, but our best friend's home burned down to the ground, and uh, we just we just had to come back. Mm -hmm. Well, welcome back home. I'm very excited. Um, the reason I ask most and foremost, because I have to ask you a coffee question, and this will be the last question I ask. What is your favorite coffee spot? If I come to see you in Michigan and I'm like, go, go take me to the best coffee shop, shop that you would take your clients to, where would that go? Where would be going? Yeah, so there's a Brighton um, Coffee House, I think it's called, or Coffee and Theater House. Um, it's right downtown. They just opened it not long ago, like a year or so ago. It used to be like a store, and then they rented it. It's a huge place. They have a stage. They can do theater and all kinds of stuff. But um, they have a chef right there, so they make all kinds of scones and things like that, and their coffee is amazing. Now I drink matcha, though. I haven't had coffee mm -hmm. in once. Since when? Like six months. Ever since I started my raw diet, I haven't had coffee since then. Um, but you did break. Uh, you did introduce me to oat milk, and I have not used anything but oat milk since. Mm -hmm. um, so now I do much of it oat milk. So I haven't had coffee in six months, but I still get my matcha and oat milk at the coffee shop downtown Brighton. Well, I don't know how you do real estate without coffee, girl. <laughs> oh, I still do caffeine. It's just the matcha is there. Yeah, yeah. It's green, it's green now, not, not brown. Yeah, that's the difference.
Well, thank you so much. I will be spreading the word. Um, I know that you have an agent attraction bootcamp as well, if people are interested in it, especially EXP agents, but this is open for other brokerages as well, correct? I wanted to mention yeah. that really quickly. So, um, and we do have our event every Wednesday. I hope that you, ladies and gentlemen, join us. Gogo can explain much more than what she did now. And um, I thank you so much for uh, supporting me every single week with every crazy idea I had so far and building my business to where, where it really needs to go. So thank you so much. I'm excited to be in business with you. That's awesome. So yes, Wednesday, every Wednesday night at eight o'clock, I do what's called Why Not EXP. And that's a presentation of where we invite you, just like Alex said, please come as Alex's guest. Um, she can send you the link of how to, you know, just have your eyes open of what's going on in the real estate industry. See what EXP is all about. See if you would want to bring your business over and partner with us. If you decide to do so, reach out to Alex. She can give you a link and then I will see you Wednesday night. Guys, and I want to make sure somebody texted me. I don't like wine. They thought it was a wine tasting. It's not a wine tasting. It's just a plain word. You can drink coffee, tea, whatever you want. To. It's so funny. It made me giggle, but literally it's not a wine tasting. It's about business, especially no. helping your business to grow. So. It's just called wine, not EXP. Yeah. Not EXP because it's just, you know, it's way more fun if you have a glass of something in hand. But I usually don't drink wine either. I drink gin. I so. But gin, not EXP, was not that exciting. So. It was not the same. <laughs> go, go, Betty. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Absolutely. I appreciate you. Thank Bye, you. Guys.